Hi everyone, this is Nashul here for Solid Tech. In today's blog video, I'm going to be taking a look at the Auto Trace feature in SolidWorks. Um, the Auto Trace feature is something that we can use to um, create sketch outlines of images that we take um, either from our camera or maybe off the internet or by scanning. Uh, for example, you could have um, some old DWG drawings that you wish to scan and uh, convert into SolidWorks entities. We can use this feature to do that. Now I'm just going to start here by creating a new part. Then I'll create a sketch on the front plane. And then found under the tools menu we have, or the sketch tools menu, we have the sketch picture. And then I'll just insert a picture that I got off the internet here of a, of a porcelain, uh, porcelain vase. Now you'll you'll notice that right away uh, w what we can do is we can adjust the height of the picture and if you want to um, get the height uh, accurate with respect to what's in the picture what we can do is we can just adjust create a line and dimension that line and then obviously so if that's 500 millimeters we can adjust that picture accordingly now here I've actually done it to the outer border of the picture but you can uh, create a line um, to represent the height of the object and um, resize the picture with the correct aspect ratio and everything else should um, resize accordingly as well. Now found here um, in the um, right, we'll ex ex exit the sketch here. Now I'll just show you uh, in the tools add-ins menu the auto trace feature uh, needs to be checked in order for this function to work. So if we go back into our sketch edit the sketch, uh, double click the picture, you'll see that there's uh, there's this option for transparency which we'll take a look at in just a second. But As soon as we click this arrow we now have some selections here. What we can do is we can do a rectangular mask and click uh, once we select our image we click begin trace and that actually gives us some sketch outlines already and we just have a bit of control here as I mentioned. Uh, our images um, if they have high contrast between the background and the foreground, you will get a better outcome. We do have some controls here, like recognition tolerance, so just play around with it and see how uh, what works best for you. I think this is uh, looking okay, so we're going to accept that. And if I just uh, suppress the picture, you'll see what we get. So there's our um, sketch, which we can now use. And um, we'll just make that into a construction line. Okay, now next thing, um, let's take, uh, we'll show the picture again. Or let's delete that. Let's show, show the picture one more time and we'll go ed edit our sketch. Now the next option that I want to take a look at is, um, let's take a look at the transparency here. So what we can do is, uh, we can select using this um, co color using the eyedropper tool we can select the color that we wish to make transparent now the background in my image isn't very good to uh, to use for transparency because there's many different shades of black and gray here so it's only seeing a portion of the uh, the background uh, that we can turn into uh, transparency but um, if you have um, you know, less number of colors and a good uh, contrast between the background and the foreground we should be okay we don't necessarily have to use um, transparency here. Now the next tool is the freehand drag tool so this one is basically just uh, click and drag the outline of the sketch that you wish to capture. Just being careful that you don't include too much of the background information and that's that so we'll go ahead and begin trace and you'll see that it's uh, done a pretty good job of tracing out the outline of the vase and once again we can control uh, the image brightness in the background and the image contrast it gives us a bit more a bit, bit better result so just making a few adjustments here to get your result perfect once you're happy we can go ahead and accept that 
let's press the picture and uh, here's um, our result and um, here you can see it's slightly different we've got some edits to make I think but let's delete this now and uh, we'll show the picture again and let's see the third option back into edit sketch double click the picture click that arrow and this is the polygon so basically this just allows you to create straight lines to um, uh, create the outline of your object so just try use a series of small straight lines to capture that curvature there and just keep keep going we'll use um, one big long line over here once again just being careful not to include too much of the background that's it and begin trace and you'll notice that's uh, captured the outline as well and again just play around with the settings until you get uh, the result that you're after let's accept this and I'll hide the picture again to show you what we have so this method here is uh, obviously it's got a bit of work here to do so we can edit our sketch and uh, get rid of that and probably fix it up with some manual sketching techniques uh, let's show our picture again and we'll take a look at the last option in the auto trace feature delete that last sketch and the last one is basically the um, color selector tool um, so this one works uh, basically you click the uh, color selector tool select your color and click begin trace and it selects all colors that are uh, similar to the color that you um, selected and um, here we obviously we'd, we've got something that we don't necessarily want but on the second attempt there it's actually uh, created the proper outline that I need and we'll just do a quick bit of adjustment to make sure what we get what we want now even though those uh, sketch entities are there and the um, on the middle it's, it's it's okay what we can do is we can go back in later or afterwards and um, do a bit of uh, sketch editing and get rid of the stuff we don't want the important thing is that we just get the outline correct I think that looks good and uh, I think we'll hide the picture and let's work with this one and um, this one I'll actually just go ahead and do a bit of editing and get rid of the stuff we don't want you can box select these internal bits and get rid of them and I think what I'll do is I'll actually finish this off and turn it into a, a solid model that will represent that phase that we were looking at now we do have some editing to do uh, what I'm going to do is I'd like to move the sketch uh, or copy the sketch over to the um, origin so that we can have a center point let's copy that over oh, make sure we gotta make sure we got we have all the sketch entities copied so let's do that one more time so copy entities box select our entities uh, click the start point roughly try and get the center as best as possible and put that into the origin and we can delete this this one that was uh, that was there now the next thing I like to do is I like to use the fit spline tool um, because what this will do is this will allow us to um, uh, get, convert the entire sketch uh, into one single spline and we can now uh, do a simplify spline command and just smooth this out a little bit so you can see in the simplified curve we have 29 points, 26 points, 22 points uh, 19 points looks a bit off in the preview so I think we'll go we'll stick with 22 points uh, looks good and you now have something with uh, 22 points that we can use to um, uh, control our sketch and it also gives you the uh, the base uh, as a construction so you can see the variation alright so we'll, uh, um, my intent here is to create a surface revolve so I need a center line we'll create that center line and we now need to trim off um, the sketch entities we don't need so we'll trim that, delete that delete these construction lines here 
and I believe we can now go ahead and uh, use our revolve surface revolve command so we'll go into surface revolve select that and it sees the central line automatically and right away we can see we now have a fairly fairly nice looking smooth looking vase that we can use now and it is a surface body so we don't have solid bodies yet um, we can do a bit more work on this we what we can do is we can um, cut a hole on the top and I'll just uh, do that using a projected uh, sketch. I need a new plane here, so I'll sketch on that plane. Create a circle using the origin. Give it a dimension, so this is the opening of the vase. And uh, we'll just use the split command. So we'll do a projection onto that face and that splits the two faces and we can now use uh, delete face and we now have our opening okay so the next thing we can do is we can just use the thicken command to give it some uh, thickness and we'll probably do 1.5 mil and that's that's now got some uh, thickness on the walls there as you can see with the section view everything is looking nice and smooth Finally, I think um, we can finish this off with a quick bit of appearance. Maybe, uh, let's see what we can use here. Let's, um, let's try a white marble, see what that looks like. Uh, it looks a bit dull for my liking. I think we'll choose something else. Maybe, um, maybe porcelain. That looks good. So there we have it um, a vase that we recreated using a sketch that I got off of Google now um, just to show you the accuracy that we have here I'll br bring in the original picture and yeah, show that sketch first so there's the original picture we'll just move that over you need to double click that I'll just put it in the background and you can see that uh, pretty closely approximates um, the model that we've created so the auto trace feature um, did a pretty good job of capturing that for us